Hey guys, Tracy here, Kansas Garden Guy, Summer Pick Farms. How are you guys doing today? Well, I got inside and I was making dinner and I almost forgot. Hey, Tracy, you forgot to make a video this week. So I'm going to try my hardest, uh, especially since here in the winter time. As you can see, it's like 4.30 and the sun's getting ready to go down. So especially here in the winter time, the farm starts to slow down. We don't have a lot growing, just what we have in the high tunnel right now. Um, we'll do like a small video a week and I'll show you what's going on unless I'm doing a special project And if I'm doing a special project and I want to tag you guys along then I'll make a video for that And that will come out during the week also. So hopefully that works out for you guys uh, Keeps you encouraged to keep watching my channel so you don't forget who I am All right Oh man uh, Today I went ahead and I planted some more kohlrabi out um, that we had in seed starting trays. The uh, the uh, pak choy is uh, looking scrumptious and amazing. Um, it's uh, Asian cuisine. Very, very good stuff. Um, anyway, radishes are looking good. You see the radishes are looking good. Beets are looking good. I uh, happened to find some red Russian kale out in the yard. I know you're asking me how it got out in the yard. and uh, Well, it got out in the yard because I had some seed starting trays that I pulled some out and I thought it wasn't going to make it, so I threw the seedlings out in the grass thinking oh they'll freeze and they'll die well they took hold in the yard and i happened to find them when I um swiss chard's looking good cabbage is looking amazing it's uh starting to to head up but it you know when you only have eight nine hour days here right now you know we're below the 10 hour growing day this cabbage really needs a little bit more sun but it'll take it'll take a little bit of time but it'll get there it'll get there um swiss chard's looking good um I was going to say the Lacinato kale is looking good. And the collard greens are kind of weird. I've got like a couple that sprout, a couple that are small, and a couple that are big. So I, I don't know what's going on with those. Everything gets watered and fertilized the same around here. So as you guys know, everything's on drip, as you can see. And I only hand water a couple things. So um, the greenhouse mix is looking good. So I think that's going to be an A+. Plus for next year, we're going to grow a row of that Johnny's Fire Greenhouse loosely cut lettuce along with that round leaf smooth leaf spinach i kind of like that i put some frost blankets over the top of those carrots to see i can see if i can get those carrots to germinate or both those seeds are from haas tools so we're gonna give those a try this year um and we intertwine danvers 126 carrots in here also so we're gonna try that and see if that takes a a hold um as you can see we've got the the harmony lettuce it's three weeks in right now and so i went ahead and we harvested some and i the good and the bad with this, guys. I always told you I'm not gonna I'm not gonna blow sunshine. Um, I ended up pulling all that and throwing it in the compost pile because I could not sell it. Sold a couple heads. I couldn't get anybody interested in buying it, so I just pulled it up. I don't know if it's because of Corona and people don't want to come out to the farm to check out stuff. I don't know what's going on. Um, as you can see, I did plant some more Tehama that was in seed starting tray. So we're about half, almost half the rows gone. Um, sold a bunch of it this week and last week actually sold, I think, I think we sold 25 or 30 head between last week and this week. And I gave some away to the school. That was kind of my, uh, surprise thing we've got going on here. Um, uh, I've been working with the school, uh, district here in my town where actually it's where I went to school. Um, they've got this new nutritionist. She's actually been out to the farm this week twice. Um, we've done some talking about um, growing in high tunnels, um, local farmers buying fresh, stuff like that. So I think we're going to try to work out an agreement to where the school is going to buy a lot of their veggies from me, what they can buy. So we've agreed we're going to basically work more towards like lettuces, salad mixes, spinaches, stuff like that to put on the salad bar for the kids at all three schools. So hopefully that works out. Um, you're going to see if that does work out, we're going to have to triple our expansion right now. You know, this is a 65 by 20 high tunnel. We've talked about putting two more up and then a 100 footer up on the summer garden. So I think we're going to have to have a high tunnel just for growing lettuce for the school. Possibly 
two high tunnels growing lettuce, one for market and then one for selling to the school and then have that uh, 20 by 100 to grow tomatoes and stuff in the summer. But uh, anyway, guys, that's what we've got going on here. Oh, did you see that? Oh, look what I did today. Yeah, I know. I'm not I'm not big into Christmas. Um, if you ask my wife, she'll tell you I'm a humbug about it. Um, just never have been big on a Christmas. Um, my sp uh, so I try to decorate a little bit now that we have a grandson and stuff. I want to kind of make this fun for him. So I put some lights in the tunnel. Um, I've seen a couple other YouTube channels do this. And it's kind of a cool fadey effect when you see it at night. So I thought it'd be cool, especially since I live on a main road where cars drive by a lot. You guys see that in my videos. And uh, just thought it'd be kind of neat for people to say, oh, look, that guy's got lights in his high tunnel. That'd be kind of cool. Well, God, that's the only, that guy's got a high tunnel. He's the only one around here that's got a high tunnel. So I'm already known as that guy. Um, but as so you can see, we trimmed all these trees up. My dad was kind enough to come over here with the tractor and his extended um, pole saw. Um... And we cut all these limbs out that we're going to try to overtake the fence. We still got a couple, but they're pretty high. They're probably 15 feet high, and I don't think they're going to mess with the fence much or the high tunnel when it gets another one gets put in here beside this one. And if it does, I'll just go up there and we'll just cut those limbs off. Um, so I'm going to try to do this every week, just kind of take you guys to walk through the high tunnel so you guys can see the progression of what's growing in there. Um, it's kind of interesting because I've had a lot of people tell me I can't grow stuff in Kansas in winter. Even with the high tunnel, it's ridiculous. I'm wasting my time, wasting my money. So I'm going to prove these people wrong. I may not get everything, but if I can get something, that's better than nothing. Um, once again, guys, if you guys like our videos, make sure you hit like. Um, if you guys subscribe to our videos, thank you so very much. You don't know how much uh, me and my wife appreciate you guys subscribing to our channel. Even though we don't have a lot of subscribers like a lot of channels do, every subscriber means something to me. Um, I, I, I look at you guys as family and friends. I've met a lot of friends through YouTube that I talk to all the time. Um, some of you I talk to and I've never met you before, but I consider you one of my friends and part of our family. So thank you so much for watching our channel. Um, once again, guys, if you like this channel, make sure you hit the thumbs up. If you want to share this channel, make sure you share it with somebody that likes gardening. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? What's it going to hurt? I mean, it doesn't cost anything. But once again, guys, you guys be careful. Have a good, good day. Be safe. God bless. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.